Hey there devs, welcome to the very first chapter in our Godot RPG tutorial series. I'm super excited you're here. Whether you're brand new to Godot or just curious about building your own RPG, you're in the right place. In this series, we're going to build a classic style turn-based RPG using Godot. Specifically, we're going to be using 4.3, which has some awesome 3D tools and features. By the end of it, you'll have your own working RPG complete with battles, inventory, quests, and so much more. So what are we actually making here? Let's do a quick breakdown. We're going to be making a player character, one that can explore a 3D world. We're going to be making some NPCs and dialogue complete with choices, a turn-based battle system, JRPG style, side battle view, inventory and equipment menus, quests, stats, leveling up, and if we can get to it, saving and loading. We'll take it step by step and I'll explain everything clearly so you'll understand why we're doing each thing, not just how. This series is designed for beginners, so you don't need to be a coding expert and I'll make sure to explain every script and feature as we go. Some light knowledge of how nodes work in Godot helps, but even if you're totally new, you'll catch on fast. To follow along, you'll need Godot 4.3, a 3D model for the player, and a text editor. Though we'll write all scripts right in Godot, so even then, you won't even need that because it has it built in with GD Script. Each video in the series will be around 20 minutes, give or take, and we'll break, we'll break big topics into bite-sized episodes. So if we're setting up combat or inventory, we'll do it in parts. The idea is that you can follow along at your own piece, pace and build a fully playable RPG step by step with me. So here's a quick look at Godot when you first open it, right? And we're going to go ahead and create our first project right here. So let's go ahead and press create new project. We're going to go ahead and right here, let's give our project a name. We'll call it 3D RP, RPG Tutorial. And as you can see, the project path, it's going to already create our folder for us. But that's not where I want it specifically because I have a folder for our, um, for our tutorial. So I'm going to select that folder. Alright, we're also going to make sure that our render is on Forward Plus, which will, is the default 3D graphics render for Godot. Then we're just going to press Create Edit. As it opens up in the other window, I'm going to drag it over here, and this is a quick look of what it looks like when you're after you create your project. We have our scene tree over here on the left. We have our 3D viewport right here in the center. We have a script editor. We have our file system down here on the bottom left. Right. So here's the thing, right? Some things we're going to do in the next chapter. We're going to create some folders. We're going to change our project settings. We'll even create a small uh, placeholder scene, right? Um, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys a rundown of that. Hopefully you've at least created the project so that you can follow along in chapter two, uh, where we're going to start getting it really going with project setups, folders, project settings, and getting our world started. If you're excited to build your own RPG from the ground up, hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss the next chapter. Let's make something awesome together. Keep learning. Keep building. I'll see you in chapter two.